a few tips on Australian weather. Tip number one. So far, the weather forecast on my iPhone has not been wrong. So if you see a little rain cloud with raindrops somewhere in the hour by hour breakdown of the weather, it's gonna happen. So no matter how sunny it is, do not forget your umbrella. Remember to close your window before you leave. Never think that you're gonna make it. If you think that it's sunny and you think it's gonna rain anyway, don't think, oh, I have about 10 minutes. You don't. Also, when buying a grocery bag from Woolies, always get one that is waterproof. So this past week has been the first week of classes and I like them a lot. I'm excited for the semester. The classes seem very interesting, um, particularly my creative writing class. Um, it's taught by a woman named Anna Westbrook, who is also a professor of creative writing at University of New South Wales, and she's awesome. The reason why I went out today in the sunshine and then the rain is to get this notebook, which is just going to be sort of my general writing journal, which is what I need to to have for the class, but unfortunately it got a little wet, so it'll be okay. It adds character, I think, to the fact that this notebook will be holding all of the creative process for creative writing. On Thursday we went to the Moonlight Cinema, which is this sort of cinema in the park, big screen erected, and then just sort of grass for people to lay down blankets and, you know, have their little lawn chairs or whatever, and watch this movie, and we watched Breakfast at Tiffany's, which was not what I was expecting. I was not expecting Breakfast at Tiffany's to be the type of movie that it was. To be honest, I was expecting a little bit more Tiffany's and not so much what happened. I'm not going to spoil, but... Or I suppose I could, but... I was not expecting Breakfast at Tiffany's to be the movie that it was. But I enjoyed it. It was good. It was an interesting experience. We learned that the bus times are not at all reliable. Um, you might want to just add five minutes to it, depending on what, what bus you're taking. And know where you're going. Plan ahead. And for the Moonlight Cinema in particular, if the gates open at 7, you get there at 7. <laughs> because otherwise you'll be kind of stuck in the cracks and crevices of whatever lawn space is left. And you're trying to get in at maybe like 8.30, which is when the movie's supposed to start. But... It's okay. It was a very interesting experience. This Valentine's Day, I, I was able to video chat with some friends back in New York, um, back home. Uh, and yeah, shout out to them because hey, hey. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I've been feeling a little under the weather because I did get caught in the rain a little bit on Thursday. And, so, and then I got caught in the rain again today, so I'm probably going to be a little bit more sick. But it's okay, I have plenty of reading and assignments and writing to do, so it'll be a good weekend. That's all I have right now, so bye!